Anna Kornikova and Enrique Iglesias are one of the most mysterious and persistent couples in show business. For more than two decades, their romance has been shrouded in mystery, and their personal lives remain almost completely hidden from the public. Despite the incredible popularity of each of them, they manage to keep their relationship away from prying eyes. This Russian-Spanish couple rarely comments on their personal lives. Despite the fact that their love began in the early 2000s and is still strong and unyielding, they are known to have not yet formalized their relationship officially. Before meeting the famous Latin American singer Enrique Iglesias, Anna Kornikova was already a famous and successful tennis player. For example, in 2000 she was ranked 8th in the WTA rankings, and in doubles she sometimes reached the first line of the world ranking. Interestingly, for all her achievements, she has never won a singles title. During its peak popularity, Anna Kornikova's name was one of the most frequently requested on Google. By the early 2000s, Enrique Iglesias was extremely popular both in Spain and abroad. He has released several albums and has repeatedly embarked on world concert tours. One of his most famous singles of that time was Balamos, which became the soundtrack to the movie Wild Wild West with Will Smith. Although the film itself was not a great success, the song Balamos became a number one hit in the United States. In 2001, Enrique Iglesias released his second English-language album titled Escape. It was decided to shoot a video for the song of the same name from this album, and director Dave Myers invited Anna Kornikova to shoot. However, their acquaintance was overshadowed by an unpleasant incident. Anna had an inflammation on her lip, and according to the director's idea, Enrique had to kiss the tennis player. The singer refused, saying that he did not want to touch this pimply little girl. The makeup artists were able to correct the situation, but Anna left a bad impression. Insolent fellow. Arrogant. Disgusting guy. How dare he? What does he even imagine about himself? The arrogant behavior of the musician not only did not alienate Anna, but also became the beginning of their romance. Gossip says that it was after this that her husband, hockey player Sergei Fedorov, filed for divorce and broke off his contract with the agency that brought his wife together with the Spanish pop star. I wanted to start all over again, both my professional and personal life, the hockey player frankly admitted at the time. After the release of the video clip, reporters began to aggressively hunt for the opportunity to capture the couple together. But the singer and the tennis player did not confirm any relationship, remaining silent and not appearing in public together. But in 2002, at the MTV awards ceremony, Enrique and Anna finally confirmed their relationship. They appeared together, smiling and holding hands, posing on the red carpet for the first time as a couple. Once, in an interview, Enrique Iglesias admitted what attracted him to Anna. I don't need any noisy parties. I don't like to be constantly in sight. Anna fully supports me in this regard. She is not a five-star glamorous beauty. In 2003, 21-year-old Anna had to end her brilliant sports career due to a serious spinal injury. A year later, a massive pink diamond ring appeared on her finger, which caused many rumors about an imminent wedding. Fans of the couple were expecting an announcement about the upcoming wedding, but it did not happen. In response to a question from journalists from Women's Health about the wedding, Anna said, I'm happy in a relationship, that's what's really important. Enrique also shared his opinion on marriage. I am completely convinced that there is no need for a piece of paper. After all, he does not prove all the feelings, does not demonstrate love to the one you have chosen for life. Anna is definitely the main woman in my life. I can say this with absolute certainty. In 2007, Enrique suddenly announced his divorce from Anna. The singer talked about his bachelor status as if nothing had happened, and the audience was at a loss to guess when the wedding of these two took place. A little later, representatives of Enrique denied his statement, explaining that the singer was just joking. Seven years later, in 2014, Iglesias decided to make a joke again. During one of his concerts, he announced his divorce, trying to convince everyone that it was true. Against this background, Anna's recent statement that she was happy in a relationship and had no plans to get married looked rather strange. 
Nevertheless, the journalists believed everything that the couple said, as there were simply no other sources of information about their personal lives. At the end of 2019, Anna fueled rumors of a possible marriage by changing her blog name to Kornikova Iglesias. Subscribers began to suspect that celebrities could secretly get married, but they have not yet received a direct answer to their questions. The news that in December 2017, 36-year-old Anna Kornikova gave birth to twins Nicholas and Lucy from Enrique Iglesias became a real sensation. Throughout her pregnancy, Anna hid her situation from the public, avoiding public appearances, so fans did not suspect about the imminent addition to the family. A month later, the happy parents showed the kids to the fans. Lucy looks more like Anna. She is the same blonde, she has blue eyes, and Nico is the spitting image of Enrique, darker, said the singer's sister, Tamara Falco. Relatives assure that the couple does not seek to intrigue the public, but simply prefers to lead a quiet family life. Anna didn't hide anything. She just leads a quiet home lifestyle, so no one guessed about her interesting situation, Enrique's mother said about her daughter, in-law's first pregnancy. Enrique did not hide the fact that now touring is difficult for him because of longing for his family. The singer admitted that he even thinks about leaving the stage and stopping touring in order to always be close to his loved ones. There are days when thoughts of stopping come to my head. Perhaps this will happen in the very next few years, the artist said. On January 30, 2020, Anna and Enrique had a daughter, Masha. The singer was present at the birth, and Anna chose the name for the baby. The couple's children speak three languages at home, Russian, English, and Spanish. Star parents believe that in the future one of their daughters could follow in Anna's footsteps and build a sports career. I can honestly say that if I had to choose one field, it would certainly be sports. Just because I love sports, golf, tennis, and I don't mind one of my little girls playing tennis. I don't want to become one of these obsessed fathers, but I told Anna that she would definitely become the best coach in the world. She and I compete on the court all the time. I think I can beat her, but that's what I say all the time. She gives in and lets me win, Enrique said. Anna and Enrique had lived with their children in a luxurious mansion in the Bay Point area of Miami. Their neighbors are world-famous celebrities such as Ricky Martin, Cher, and Matt Damon. On the territory of the mansion, there is a tennis court, a swimming pool, a gym, a large lawn, and a marina with a boat belonging to the star couple, so Anna always has something to do. Anna says that her day starts at 6.30 in the morning. First, she prepares breakfast for the family and then goes for a walk with the children. A mother with many children can take care of herself only when the children go to bed. 